to YouTube, JB Dillon. Today we're looking at a Sansui 881, and the complaint is lights up, no sound. So if we plug it in, we listen for the infamous protection relay click. We don't hear it. No clicky. So in troubleshooting this, the first thing you want to determine is whether it's a power supply problem, a protection circuit problem, an amplifier problem, or a regulator problem. And the best way to do that is to take the bottom cover off and take some measurements in various parts of the amplifier and the power supply. Also notice if anything on the amplifier heat sink is starting to heat up, which would indicate that there's most certainly an amplifier fault and it's uh, probably an overcurrent protection. Apologize if there's fan noise, it's a little hot today. but I'm too cheap to run the air conditioner. This screw has already been removed, which tells me that he was probably inside. First thing we look at is the protection relay, which is these line of contacts right here. do is check and see you see on one side there there's 41 volts oh that's ignore that because this is the protection relay here all right no DC there 30 millivolts DC there We have 16 volts on one side and 4.3 on the other. And we can see that it's bobbling there. And there is, uh, if we go to AC and measure across the coil, there's 2.6 volts AC across that coil. That's a 24 volt DC coil relay. So the power supply that feeds the protection relay is dirty. Let's take a moment to make sure our main power supply is symmetrical. We've got plus 49. We've got minus 49. That's good. We see that this darkened area of the board up here indicates excessive heat. There could be a bad solder joint, but it looks like someone's been soldering there already. Again, supporting the theory that the guy's been inside. Let's check our regulator here. We have a 30 volt supply, 13 coming in, and 12.7 going out. That's your uh, regulator for the radio. And then I think there's another one. If we unplug a few things here so we can have a little more leeway. We've established that there's no amplifier problem, at least optimally not. Ah, the other relay, uh, other regulators down there, which is this thing I'm covering up here, next to this big blob of solder. So let's see what that regulator is doing. And coming in, we have 47 volts. 35 and 34.9 so that regulator nominally is working let's check and see if there's any ripple on it 2 tenths of a volt ripple on the main line 0 on the regulated lines and we're just going to let the machine get the phone call
All right. Let me take this off of the stand. You hear that? Chattering noise. So there's a timing capacitor. Ah, there it goes. So after being on several minutes, the relay finally fired. So there's a series of capacitors here. Let's get a light on this so you can see it. There's the 47 microfarad, which is a, a timing cap. And there's the gray guy, which is a 220, I believe. Yep, 220 microfarad. And then there's the one microfarad at 50 volt, which would be considered your fast turn off circuit. That just keeps it energized so that when you flick that power switch off, the relay immediately disengages before any destabilization of the amplifier can cause the transient in the sound. So, my bet is on either the 220 microfarad or the 47 microfarad. 220 being a filter, the 47 being the timing cap for how long it takes for the energy or the relay to energize. So let's see which one it is. Okie dokie. So let's figure out which one of these beasts it is. And let me just lean over this real quick. Here's your 47 microfarad. That's about dead. Here's the one microfarad. Actually, it's the one microfarad. That's still hanging in there. And then here's the 220, also mostly dead. So, one or the other? Well, it's both of them. Both the 220 microfarad capacitor and the 47 microfarad capacitor, both of which have expired. And so we have a combination of dirty power and not enough capacitance to charge the relay circuit and make the relay fire. So let's go ahead and replace both of those and let's see where that gets us. All right, new caps are in. Let's see if it goes clicky. Plamo. So that's what it was. Bad caps in the protection circuit. Other things can cause it like power supply, regulator, and amplifiers, but this was an easy one. So at this point, it's a matter of replacing the lamps and doing the regular stuff on it. Anyways, hope this was useful to you. Thanks for watching.